House on Wheels over the last 12 months has grown enormously and it's thanks to the generosity of this county and the people in it. We have added a um, weekend meal program to where now the people that we've only been able to serve for 260 days a year, we're now serving 365 days a year. We have added a pet food program uh, through a grant with the Banfield Trust Foundation. You know, this is a service to the people who have worked their entire lives providing for others. Uh, this is not a charity. This is just giving back to them what they deserve. And uh, sometimes it's hard to make them understand that. And I, the reason I did not get on meals on wheels, I thought I could do it myself. According to the 2000 census, Mills on Wheels should be serving a total of 650 people considered elderly, disabled, and under the poverty level. Mills on Wheels is not just for a person in their 90s. It's not just for a person who's got emphysema. We serve people on this program that taught me when I was in school. They were my school teachers. We serve people on this program who fought for our country. We serve people on this program who worked in the factories. They walked these streets as police officers. They did things to make this country a country where we can walk freely and we can have the things that, that we need and we want. Mills on Wheels do more than one in mill. They do run Christmas stuff, holiday stuff. Always give the card and tell them the bus day. And, and they try to help you, but in way they can. Mills on Wheels is my family. Very little of the Social Security that I was on, it wasn't enough to do anything other than maybe just help pay my bills, utilities. And uh, it's, it's still kind of a problem, but the Mills on Wheels has helped me to, to survive. And that's uh, that part of the uh, that I really appreciate because it has been an awful lot to me. You're part of the community. You're part of who they who they remember, or who they see every day. Meals on Wheels, I really appreciate you coming. And I really appreciate you taking the interest in sick people like me. I feel like I'm not thrown away and I feel like I'm cared for. You don't just wake up one day and say, I think I'll go on Mills on Wheels. You wake up one day and you need Mills on Wheels. You never know when you get up in age what you're going to fall into. In addition to, you know, just providing them this uh, meal, nutritious meal, uh, the volunteer also has an opportunity to interact uh, with a individual. I love people. I don't like sitting in the house looking at it along the wall. That's not my style. I appreciate going and doing things. Get a volunteer bring more, do more to the bring my meal. They even have come down and, and fix my porch I had. Well, if I, if I, I didn't run for meals on wheel, I'd be, I'd be six feet down. When I was taking care of patients uh, during their hospitalization. Uh, I could tell there were many patients that were admitted uh, who were malnourished. Um, these patients are very prone to have uh, infections like pneumonia. Uh, they um, are, when they get sick, they are, don't have the, uh, they have don't have, in their body don't have the reserve to fight disease. So they result in prolonged hospitalizations and uh, more health care costs and uh, in turn the society um, uh, end up um, spending more money in terms of health care on these individuals uh, because of their in, uh, increased health care needs. Without Meals on Wheels I would have to be put in a nursing home because I am not physically able to take care of myself. Palo Pinto County Mills on Wheels goal is to leave no one hungry. If they have not called and checked on me, I wouldn't be here sitting here talking now because I would have starved to death. It's 30 miles one way, 
to a grocery store. They bring, you know, extra things like Coke for me and milk and bananas. And they'll call and ask you, what do you need? You know, it's not what they want you to have. It's what do you need? I really feel that a lot of the support from the community, like the Meals on Wheels and other programs have helped me as a caregiver, as a single caregiver for my mother and father to help us make it through each day and to keep going. I've seen several of the people that I deliver with that if we didn't bring them lunch each day, they would probably have to be in a nursing home because there's no way they could fix meals for themselves. But Meals on Wheels has really been a blessing to me and uh, I could not have kept my mom with me had it not been for Meals on Wheels. My husband had Alzheimer's and it got too much for me to handle for the 24 hours. We had home health come in and with uh, Meals on Wheels, Miss Patty Clark was so helpful about all the organizations that could help us in some way. One of the biggest things about having the Meals on Wheels is not only the food and the nutrition that it provides, but having someone come to the door day after day, checking on these people and making them feel good and know that they're still cared about. Well, I guess it kind of gives me a peace of mind, uh, the visits. Uh, uh, I guess in a way I kind of look forward to when they deliver the food. It gives me a, a little conversation with the people that deliver the food. You know, it, it, you don't quite get so bored sitting around watching TV or reading. I don't think people realize how rewarding it is. I would urge anybody to, to um, deliver meals. It would only take an hour a week. It's very uplifting and it's, it's truly been a blessing for me. It's hard for me to believe that we have 16, 17,000 people in this town and we can't get 11 people a day on a regular basis to run a route for Meals on Wheels. They have to have volunteers in order to make this work. And if you have a chance to give, or if you have some church or organization that you can work with that can give to this community through the Meals on Wheels program, I urge you to do that. We also have a program now where we're getting dog food, cat food, or whatever so the participants can feed their animals and eat their food that we give them rather than giving their food to their animals so their animals don't go hungry. It has amazed me when I since I've been working here at the commitment of this organization and particularly our director, you know, Patty is, Patty, everybody says this, but Patty is Ms. on Wheels. Uh, we would not have a program without she has devoted her entire life to this program. Without Meals on Wheels, there would be many people in this community who would not have that one hot meal a day, would not have that one visit every day from someone to be sure that they are, are still healthy and alive. There are many organizations that help, but none really touch their lives like Meals on Wheels. They provide meals on a daily basis and they provide companionship at the same time. I truly believe that Meals on Wheels is needed more than ever in Mineral Wells and the surrounding communities that they support. I urge you to join me in supporting Meals on Wheels. If Meals on Wheels saved my life, please help. on wheels.